I think I'm recording. <laughs> I am. <laughs> evolution. It is evolution. To evolve. To get better. Or worse. De-evolution. In the world, we have evolved. We never stop evolving. We never stop learning. Our brains are not now at the maximum peak. They never will be. We don't use all of our brain. We only use that much of our brain. So, here we are. Me, drawing stick people. <laughs> Hi. Um, my biological mother is an artist. And she draws scenery and the faces of sorrow and she does many things with her hands her mind is dark has she evolved she's become reclusive i don't know <laughs> when i first started in talking or making a diary of what it is like to grow or become angry or one of my sadnesses or fits. Um, I first started off with a diary and that was about age eight. And then from there, well, I progressed. I started off cartooning and uh, men in crimson. And it was a small, little cartoon that was hard to do let me tell you never made it but the publishers thought if I worked on it a little harder I would get the idea and probably be able to be publishable I gave up then <laughs> I found the world of blog in the meantime, I was going to writer studies and that with a friend, and uh, he, he and I would meet every Tuesday, and we'd go over plots and everything we could. He's a sci-fi writer, and I have never been into sci-fi. I'll watch sci-fi. I love it, <laughs> but I don't write it. And I mean, I have a good imagination. I mean, some of my nightmares should be in sci-fi, or at least horror. <laughs> the blogging I was one of the first bloggers who was able and still able um, for whatever reason the lawsuit was lost the lawsuit this got on a long time I outed my own family and outing my family was heartbreaking um dangerous and so the evolution of me was to come get over the fear and the control well from there i went on to vlogging and i started in 2006 on youtube and i would not have done anything if it wasn't for a girl named audrey <laughs> And she was wild on YouTube, totally. And this girl brought a whole new meaning to, um, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and she became loved, hated, loved, liked. She had quite a fan base. But I was just the mother. I've always been just the mother. Er. <laughs> I vlogged. I just moved my diaries on to vlogging. I'm like the world. I evolve. The world is evolving, for instance. It changes constantly. We may have put a whole in our biosphere. But 
it will exist. You will be long extinct, but the world is a tough broad. Have I become a tough broad? Not really, because I'm still evolving. I am still, well, this whole year has been trying to find me. That has been the subject of psychiatry. <laughs> Finding me. Because I never really found me. I, I don't know who I am. And maybe I do know who I am. So, I've been on a quest. And I'm reclusive. And there are some out there that have attempted and tried to get me out of the shell. And then they moved to Hawaii, and then they moved to Mississippi. <laughs> Uh, and I got one in New Mexico. I mean, you know, it's really bad. And one in Pueblo. So I have all these people. Well, five of them that have been working with me on getting out. The fear of getting out. The fear of being harmed. That too is being worked on along with Fear of heights. I, even in movie theaters, when they're high up, and I almost lost my lunch. <laughs> it was in my head, and it was on the screen. But, but interesting, very interesting. And, you know, We all come to the conclusion in the end that we evolve. And if we didn't, we would be dead. So, on that note, I stop this camera. Let's see if I can know how to do that. Some are more evolved than others. <laughs>